Hey friends, Dave Burke is here. Welcome back to The Daily Burke. And today we're gonna talk about how to silence that over-talker that you get in chronic meetings. Okay, actually, we're not gonna talk about how to silence that over-talker, but we are gonna talk about the damage that that over-talker does. See, the problem with people who speak up often in meetings is that usually when they do, the more quiet, introverted, or lesser power, lesser status people that are in on the meeting, feel like, oh, well, I don't, I don't need to talk. My ideas aren't valued. So one person, usually a male, to be honest with you, overconfident and overly charismatic, just asserts themselves in every single situation. And what you really need is to hear multiple different voices. And so here's a quick trick that you can do, not necessarily to silence that person. We don't want to start a ton of drama, but to bring out all of those other voices that you're missing when you're dealing with that overtalker. Parent share. Quite simply, parent share, right? You've probably done this in a workshop or something like that where you uh, are paired up with somebody else, you hear their ideas, you share together before you share with the rest of the room. This is parent share with a twist though. As you're looking for solutions, that problem that you're discussing in a meeting, parent share, let those people share each other's ideas, but then flip the roles and let someone else speak for each person's ideas. So that over talker is gonna have somebody else arguing their point. And I'll bet you he can't stand that. But anyway, the point is that by doing this, you make it clear that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the room and get every single person's ideas. And that idea is actually devoid of all of the uh, loud, all of the argumentative, all of the overconfidence that that overtalker tends to have because it's somebody else presenting that idea. And you can sort of playfully jive with them if they continue to interrupt. So it will shut them down a little bit, but more importantly, it will bring out all of those other voices. Pair, share, and then promote each other's ideas. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Daily Burke. Leave a comment below. Let me know your new plans to use this pair and share and promote technique. And while you're there, make sure you're followed or subscribe to the show because we post new episodes every single weekday designed to help you and your team, and yes, even that over-talker, do your best work ever, and I wanna make sure you don't miss a single one. Thank you again so much for watching The Daily Burke.